Hey everyone, Jay Lights here. One of Zippo's most iconic images is turning 85, and that is the Wendy Girl. This is the limited edition 85th anniversary Wendy Zippo, and I've not opened it yet, so I'm about to open it for the first time. Welcome to Jay Lights. Before we dive in, I just want to say I'm not a very big Wendy collector. To me, that's just another rabbit hole to go down, and I think it's a iconic design. I, I really enjoy seeing them. However, one of my themes is limited. Most of the Wendy's that I have are limited. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Got this year's 540. This was released at the Case Museum. It is limited to 100. Yeah, the 1993 Wendy Varga Girl. This is another Visitor Center Museum exclusive, limited to 100. Have the eBay exclusive Wendy Reinspired, limited to 300. You have the 2013 Collectible of the Year 1935 replica. And in 2017, Zippo came out with the 80th anniversary Wendy. It was limited to 1,000 gold plated, and the price point was $130. And this year you have the 85th anniversary. Let's open it up, and here we go. It is it is beautiful. It is a gorgeous lighter. Look at that, the engraving, the color, the back. I really, I mean, the, this is fantastic. It is a great looking lighter. Limited to 12,500, this is number 3328, but it's beautiful. I really do think it, it looks great. This special edition lighter commemorates 85 years since Wendy Zippo's beloved spokesmodel made her national advertising debut in 1937. Represented in stunning color image on this armor high polished brass lighter, Wendy demonstrates the Zippo windproof lighter's iconic claim to fame. I love this box style. This box style is great. I think they learned from that, uh, from the 2022 collectible of the year. <laughs> but this is... It's a great, great special edition. All right, now I got that out of the way. Let me tell you my the, the cons or the con of this lighter. Trying to be honest with all collectors, this Zippo was a $150 price point. Retail, I didn't get it for $150. To me, this lighter is not a $150 lighter. Especially, once you think about it, Five years ago, that 80th anniversary that was limited to a thousand gold plated and only a thousand was released at the price point of 130. You have 12,500 of these out there worldwide for $150. Now, I don't know as far as the inner works of materials, things like that. I know that there's so many things going on, but when you have Zippos coming out like the 2017 80th one, uh, and then only five years later, you have one like that. This one's more, I don't know. It doesn't really sit right with me. I just, I, I think these price points on these special editions lately have kind of been a little bit higher. And here's my theory. I think Zippos playing into the aftermarket a little bit. On the front end and what i mean by that is i think zippo is kind of tired of seeing their lighters going out on the e on ebay or other sites and selling for three four five times more than what uh what they offered it for for example this wendy re-inspired picked it up last year sixty dollars on ebay about a week later if that a week later this zippo was going for about 300 plus and I think it's still going for over $500. $60 lighter, and it inflated to $300, $400. And Zippo seeing that, I, I get it. I kind of see their point. But at the same time, it's really hurting the that collector market on the front end. But because of that, I think this one, the value of this one, is going to sit about at $150 for quite some time. They're not even sold out on their website yet. That tells you that, I mean, the price point might be a little high. So, I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my thoughts. But what do you think? Do you think Zippo's kind of been overzealous lately when it comes to their pricing? Could be justified. 
I don't. I haven't even looked to see how much these were on our international friends in the UK and Australia. If it's 150 bucks here in the states, I can't imagine what they are over in Australia. They're probably about three, four hundred dollars. So what do you think? Do you like that design? I think it's a beautiful design, uh, but my biggest thing is the price point on that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Love to hear your thoughts. This is J. Lights. We'll see you on the next one.